Welcome back to Giving Day. This hour coming up is sponsored by Superior Van and Mobility. Uh, today we have Leah Michaels, who has been heavily involved in the program for how many years now? Uh, at least 10. At least 10 years. Great. Well, great to see you here today. So Thank I was hoping you, you might start with uh, just sharing with the audience a little bit about yourself, how you got involved 10 years ago, and kind of what the what you're doing today with the program. Sure. Um, I have um, actually, I started playing beat baseball um, about 15 years ago with my husband. My husband and his brother are both um, blind and visually impaired. And my husband was already playing ball at the time. And I kind of watched from the sidelines for a year or two and then um, decided that I wanted to take a bigger role in playing beat baseball. And then I became a spotter. And then before you knew it, I was the liaison for the last two RHI beat baseball teams that we have. And um, I've been doing um, this for a little over 10 years. So beat baseball. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I had a vow this year that I was going to not just, just write a check and, and sit around a table and talk, but actually get involved. And so I got involved with the sled hockey team. I love baseball, uh, so we'll talk later. Yeah. But I, I, somebody asked me if it was beep hockey, and we were out on the, on, the, on the ice, and I was like, what is that noise? And they were like, well, that's, that's the beep hockey team. Now, I thought, beep hockey sounds awfully dangerous. I played when I was a kid from like, you know, for four years mm -hmm. uh, back in Atlanta, Georgia. But I thought, how in the world could they possibly play that in that kind of a setting with that kind of, you know, on the ice? Mm -hmm. So help me understand the dynamics of beat baseball. How, how do they know how to run the bases? What, what it looks like when that thing stops beeping? Just sure. what, what, is the, what are the dynamics of that sport? Yeah, actually, um, the, the softball, it's, it's the size of a softball. Um, and it is a ad adapted softball that weighs about a pound. And it beeps, the bases on first and third buzz, and your pitcher is on your team. And so the way that beat baseball works is that you want to kind of get a rhythm in with your pitcher so that when the pitcher throws the ball, the player knows exactly when to swing the ball. Well, when the ball goes out into the field, you have to run to either a first or a third base tackling dummy, and you don't know which one's going to go on. And since you're blindfolded, you have to listen to whichever base comes on, and you run to that base. And if you get to the base before the fielder picks up the ball, then it's a run. Wow. And they are um, they are distinctly different. Um, the first and the third bases are distinctly different in the buzz in, in, of each sound, so they know to which one to go to. And then the ball continues to beep until you pin it. Wow. So, so do you have lots of lots of players? Yes, we actually have one of the largest teams um, in, in, well, actually, it's an international sport, but we have one of the largest teams, and beat baseball is very heavy here in the Midwest and really, really strong in Indiana. So you are probably like all the rest of the teams where you're traveling around, yes. and we, we have people that come from multiple states into the hockey league and, and the rest of the teams, and so are you guys... Similar with the league, you just mentioned it's an international. Yes, it's it's governed by um, a league called the NBBA, and what we do is we do traveling, kind of competitive uh, regional tournaments um, around uh, usually May to I would say the end of July, and we'll travel to kind of get ready for the World Series, which is um, kind of like the grand stage where everybody comes together in one state. And we compete um, for 10 days. Um, it's a five-day tournament where we um, do round-robin tournaments until hopefully you get to the final round, which then you go on a Saturday and you hopefully win the ring. And wow. there are really some nice, um, some nice benefits to going to the World Series and being around all the people that um, are blind and visually impaired, especially for the athletes, because they see people that are like them, people that um, are in the same boat that they are, and people they haven't seen since possibly the last World Series. Well, I can tell you obviously love it. I do, I do. It's, it's, and it actually is a family sport for us. My son pitches, my husband plays and coaches, I'm the liaison for the team and also help coach, and then um, we've made it into, my son has been playing literally since he's been um, seven years old as a bat boy and gradually moved up until he can pitch. So. Wow. So it's a family sport for us, right. and it's part of our life. Yeah, you mentioned your brother-in-law earlier too, yep. right? Yep. Is this also involved? Yes, yes. Yeah. Yep. Very cool. Absolutely. So tell me, you you mentioned the camaraderie. Yeah. 
that the players get and obviously on a, on a big grander scale sure. like that it's just like that's got to be super cool it is it is they 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 love it they they live honestly for the next tournament and we practice year-round um, we practice in a cage during the winter and then as soon as we can and, it, and honestly we've been out on Christmas Eve if you can believe it playing ball if it's nice enough outside oh, yeah. so it's a year-round sport and once it's nice enough to get out full-time I mean the guys can't wait they yeah. are just they're thrilled yeah that's awesome yeah and so you have all age groups um we are 18 and over okay um we are 18 okay. and over and and that's really um mostly because it's it, it is a dangerous sport and we would hate for anyone to get injured that yeah, i mean we sense. get injuries anyway but we would not want a child to get hurt right but okay. we do have a lot of kids that are on the team that help with bats and um just are there to help run um, players back and forth to bases. So we have a lot of, um, of kids that help us um, as volunteers. Right, right, right. Yeah. I can imagine that would be a lot of fun. Yeah, they love it. Matter of fact, we've got one little guy that, that plays um, baseball, and he took his first World Series trip this year, and he's already telling his team about it, and we want to do a fundraiser with them to try to uh, teach the kids more about um, the blind and visually impaired. Well, you know, that's a great segue because it's giving day, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. We're looking to help raise funds for all of our teams, yours particularly included. So help us understand where that money goes Absolutely. and you know what, what your goals are with respect to this year moving forward. Yeah, actually, um, beat baseball, along with all the sports, are extremely expensive to fund because they are adaptive. Um, they're, the, the equipment that we, we specifically need is only made in one place. Um, there is no, you, you can choose from here, here, and here where to buy that. What is that equipment? Um, we have beat baseballs that are $35 a piece. Okay. And we go through anywhere between 75 to 100 a year. Sometimes you'll hit them once and they'll die and you right. have to get another one and you can't practice without them. Um, our bases, um, a, ba a set of bases are around $350. Um, we need certain bats that are over um, 36 ounces, which are hard to find because they don't make them anymore. So we either have to special order them or we find them on eBay when we can find them. And mindfolds, which um, each of the players have to wear that keeps them all on the same visual acuity level. So um, certain players have a little better vision than others. So in our league, you have to wear a mindfold so that everyone is on the same playing field. Wow. So those are just the, the standard um, equipment type things that are needed. Mm -hmm. And then of course to travel um, for gasoline, for hotel places to stay, um, and then again for just helping, like the World Series is a big week. So it's it's a very costly um, adventure for the whole season, but um, with, the, with the help of our RHI, we've been able to do it successfully for many years. And it is, like I said, not only a big part of our lives, it's a big part of all of our team's lives. And it, it really enhances who they are as people. And I can't tell you enough how important giving is to helping these athletes. Well, honestly, that's what got me involved. That, that this to me is one of the, the truest means of literally helping save lives across not it only is. your population, all of the, the players here, the veterans that are also part of our, our group and, yeah. and are continuously struggling. And we have some in. veterans on our team as well. Okay, great. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And so that's um, been, the hard blood of my involvement Absolutely. it sounds like and i can i can tell from the look in your eye it's yours as well yeah so. it, it is it, it's it's huge and honestly um we are looked at around the league and this is something that's very that makes me very proud to be part of rhi is we are looked at as one of the premier athletic groups around the nbba because of our our organization because of our um our donors because mm -hmm. because we can do things that a lot of the teams really struggle with and thanks to you know the great people that give and help us be able to do what we love to do it's it's a blessing and it also is recognized around our league well we appreciate your involvement as always and look forward to, to working thank you. with you thanks for future. having me today yes, appreciate you it. Bet. yes ma'am thank you